Alright, willkommen zurück to dark, shadowy, cornered hallways with stairs and a crow boy. We are back to Death's Door. We had speaking to the elder crow that stole our assignment, and he told us that we are basically dead if we do not help him open Death's Door. You know, what the uh, story is called. Anyways. Um, we are off into the manor or mansion of the witch, and we're going to go ahead and see what this Studio Ghibli looking bitch has to offer. I'm a spider. Ha! Nice. You know, it's kind of interesting because this game does blend a little bit of Dark Souls with the fact that, you know, you basically collect souls after you kill something. And if you die, you, well, instead of dropping the souls, you still keep them. But if you die, um, the enemies respawn and you can collect more souls, so. Interessant. I won't make too many Dark Souls comparisons to this game. This game's more like a Zelda dungeon crawler than anything. A very neat one. Hmm. Ah, yes, pottery. You can't make a Zelda dungeon crawler without breakable pottery. I'm still trying to figure out the point of breaking these things, though, other than just to satisfy a weird lust to break things. Seeing as there's nothing to be found in them... Must not break. Maybe there's an achievement for breaking all of them. I should take a look at that first. Hmm, what's this? Burn your weapons and spread joy. Yeah, no. I'm not going to burn my weapons. And I'm not going to spread joy. I'm going to spread my joy by sticking my weapons in people. If that's what you ask. Hmm. Well, then again, I guess it's basically giving me a clue on how to open this damn door. Hmm. How do I burn my weapons? Hmm. Well, not that way. Clearly, we need to figure out a means to an end. Oh, hey, a seed. Yes. Alright, so this area is locked off for now. In fact, there's actually an area that's locked off uh, at the beginning start area, too. Hmm. I wonder why that's not lit. Ah, 
Oh, hey. Nice. Okay, cool. We found the starting area of the, uh, this side of town. Huh, these guys look like something I could fight. Okay, I might be missing something. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know, he said to go this way. But I am just finding that I don't have the proper tools to do anything here. I've either missed something or we just need to head to a different location. All right, the Lost Cemetery. Oh, hey. Do I, oh, yes. I do not have the key for this. Now I remember. Maybe I should ask the old uh, crow again where the other locations are. It has been a couple days. Do you wish for guidance where you where to head next? I suggest you head north. There lives an old witch obsessed with escaping death. I already head that way. What about a different way? He just keeps suggesting there first. <sighs> Fine. I'll rub my face on some things and hopefully it'll lead us to something. You know what? I wonder. Can you use the uh, umbrella to No. Okay. Well, I had to figure that out. Okay, we'll just assume we're missing something. Hello, little spider. It's more like a moth spider. It's weird. Okie dokie, smoky pokey. Well, let's see if we can burn our weapons or at least find a different way around. Haha! <laughs> Awesome. Okay. We did it. Neato. 
Estate of the Urn Witch, north of the door. Okay. Ah, neat. This looks like something I could break. This way, to the Urn Witch's Mansion. But what's down here? Oh, death. Of course. Who would have known? <laughs> well, you always got to assume, I guess. Well, hey, look at this. Oh, hey, look. It's Pothead. Sweet. Checkpoint activated. Oh, hello there. My beak faced fella. It is quite unusual to see one of your kind upon these aisles. I imagine you must be here for a soul. Not me, I should hope. Anyway, it seems your path have interesting at or intersected at an opportune moment. Or our paths. You may have noticed, but I have been crushed with an unusual affliction. Alas! Judge me not by the shape of my head, but by the deliciousness of the soup inside. I just went Scottish also. <laughs> Pothead! Of course. Where are my manners? I'm very pleased to meet you, our quaintest big face. Oh, he spilled some soup. It would seem that my journey has reached an impasse. I haven't been able to overcome the obstacles ahead and unlock the iron gates. If you would help me move on and I should be indebted to you, and we could push forward together. Ah, yes. What more do you have for us, Pothead? There are many obstacles ahead, Big Face. Curiously, there appears some uncanny kingship between the sealed gates and the unlit lanterns around the bits. I see. Well, we kind of figured that out for a bit. Foss. Can break it. Oh! Aha! I see what he means. I can plant another one of those there. Oh. The Garden of Peace. Well, it ain't that peaceful. Huh. You know what? The arrows are a little finicky. For some reason, they 
charge quicker if I'm trying to kill... Yeah, like, if I'm trying to shoot that, they charge really quick. But if I'm trying to shoot this guy, they don't. Also, I just found out that I can't dodge his arrows. I should probably heal. Also, I don't know if I'm going to keep that voice for Podhead. That is... A <laughs> I'm confusing myself on what trying to what accent I'm trying to nail for that. Ah, it's but me, Pothead. Don't worry, lass. Or lad. <laughs> I'm a I'm a lad, not a lass, sir. There might be other lads that like to be called lass, but alas I don't. Oh. Oh, well, there's Pothead. Most impressive. Now, make haste and ignite the second lantern. Hmm. Ah, shice. I don't have any arrows. There we go. Okay. You just need to hit something and it'll give you arrows. But something that is slightly living. Like mushrooms. Advancing. Oh yeah, I should probably shoot this. You know, that makes me realize I should probably go back to the other area because I do know that there's a little fire thing, like one of these, and I haven't opened it yet. So I think when I open these doors for this guy, that's what I'm gonna do. Fuck! <laughs> there you go. There you go, Magic Daddy. Get wrecked. I don't have any Healy Seeds. The Garden of Joy. I'm gonna go back and see if it's replenished. Oh, there's a seed right there. That seems neat. No, it hasn't. Be going back here, heal me? It does, cool. And it replenishes those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, and I have little buddy following me. You probably shouldn't follow. Where I'm going is dangerous. Your life will be on the line.
Ow. Damn it. Hey, look at that. Got me a seed. Hmm. There's a way to get to there. Whoa! Look at that! I figured it out. Hurrah! We na we can now venture forward, my steadfast companion. But first, we should grant ourselves a moment of respite. Come, sit with me for a while. As I mentioned upon our meeting, I was not always quite so earthen were uh, in appearance. This strange curse was vested upon me by the wicked old lady who resides in the mansion beyond these lavish gardens. I imagine you are here for her, are you not? Surely her soul must be swollen and ripe for the reaping due to her unnaturally extended ease. I desire not but to confront the old witch with request she undo her ceramic deed and restore me to my firmer handsome self. I was quite the looker, you know. Soup? Uh, no. No? Oh, so be it. Let us push on once more. I don't know if I want soup from your head, dude. I mean, it might be good. Crow tip. <laughs> Anyways, some projectiles can be deflected with a swing for your so with your sword. That I already know. Well potted. You enjoy yourself. Hey, little buddy. I'm back. Woohoo! Come on! Come on, little buddy! Do -do 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 do do You know what? Now that I know that I can walk into some of these hedges if there's a bush or a bush bustle, maybe. Alright, see you, buddies. Maybe I could enter that way. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and find some uh, fire pits for me to shoot arrows. So, we're basically going to do some backtracking in our next episode.